Welcome to our functional shoulder flow. I invite you to start in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. Sit back onto your heels, knees nice and wide. Reach your hands out long in front of you. If this bothers your shoulders, you can bend your elbows and kind of almost like you can touch your elbows to your knees and then bring your forehead to the mat. This should support you. If this is still too much, I invite you to seed pose. So knees together, hands just kind of resting gently at your sides. Reaching your arms out long if you are in traditional child's pose. Start to reach so long that you come up onto your fingertips, your elbows start to come off the mat. And you're actually, instead of squeezing your shoulders into socket, you're reaching up and out through your armpit. So you're finding more length here. And so you're reaching out, you're trying to walk, 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 walk your fingers, finding length through your armpits, start to sink your armpits down to the floor. From there, you're gonna let your left elbow come down, bring your right arm um, behind your back. This is a shoulder internal rotation stretch. So just kind of feel that. If you feel nothing, you can squeeze your shoulder blade together, start to look over your right shoulder. It's just a tiny little movement. On your inhale, reach your arm up, you're gonna thread the needle. So take your right hand underneath your left armpit and you're gonna bring your right cheek to the mat as you reach your left arm up and over. From here, take your left hand all the way to the right side. Start to look underneath your left armpit. So the stretch here should be felt on the outside of the right shoulder, maybe coming along um, tricep, bicep type region. As you look under, you'll feel the stretch through your left armpit. Maybe some left lats. And then come back to center, find your neutral position, child's pose. Left hand will come behind your head, excuse me, but come behind your back. And then same thing here, if you don't feel anything, start to squeeze through your shoulder blade. This is shoulder retraction, hug it in towards the midline, and then look over your left shoulder. And then reach your left arm long, thread the needle underneath your right armpit, reach the right fingertips long, start to walk your fingers to the left side of your mat as you find the stretch through the left um, cup of your shoulder. So cup, I call it here, the deltoids. As you look underneath your right armpit, you're gonna find length and more of a stretch through the lats, the side body. And then slowly walk yourself back, come onto your elbows and your knees. You're gonna leave your hips against your heels. Your left hand comes to the middle of your mat. Take your right hand behind your back. On an inhale, you're gonna come down. On your exhale, the lungs are empty, the ribs are compressing, you're rotating up to the sky. Feel this in your mid spine. Every inhale, you look down at your pace, you rotate up to the sky. We're gonna go five on this side and then we will switch. So following your breath, Exhale to rotate, stay for the full breath out. Inhale back down. If this is too much on your right hand here, you can take your back of your hand to your forehead or hand behind your head. As you rotate up, you're squeezing your elbow up to the sky. After five, switch side. Left hand behind your back. Inhale as you look down. Exhale to rotate up. Inhale down. Exhale to twist. And again, we have five on this side. One more here, big in, big breath out. Inhale back to center, come up onto hands and knees and find some cat cows. So your shoulder blades insert on your spine. If your spine is stiff, I would guess your shoulders are stiff as well. So really start to dive in to the retraction here where you squeeze your shoulder blades together as your belly sinks and your protraction as you find cat pose really pressing the floor away, shoulder blades are rounding around your spine. Inhale to look up, exhale to look down, belly up. One more time, look up, look down and press. Hold your press, you're gonna start to shift forward into your protraction and shift back. Keep the protraction almost like your hands were on the mat. You can spin your hands to the outside so you're driving down through your hands and then it's external rotation. So you're spinning your biceps forward as you kind of drive your shoulders down. You should feel this all the way through your back body, but you should be turning these muscles on almost as if you were holding a rod, you could pull it in half. 
and then kind of suck your elbows under. You should feel that kind of ignite throughout the top back of your shoulder. This is where some of your external rotators lie, as well as kind of underneath your armpits. So finding that, like you can take your hands, spin them to the outside, middle fingers face the outside corners of your mat, really suck in and squeeze there. And then shift forward and shift back. Again, adding in a bit of protraction, shift forward and then shift to the right shift to the left. So just introducing some weight back into your shoulders. If this is too much, don't shift as far. So you're just keeping it nice and small and then start to shift in big circles. So clockwise or counterclockwise first, keeping that protraction, keeping the external rotation. As fast or as slow as you feel comfortable and then switch directions. So maybe you're moving um, counterclockwise or clockwise now, no right, no wrong, just kind of ro switching the rotation introducing the weight back into the shoulders but with integrated shoulders so still with that extra rotation still with that protraction and come back to neutral find the retraction still the external rotation squeezing your shoulders down your back shifts left and right first east and west with a little bit more retraction start to come into middle hands you're going to shift forward and backwards keeping the retraction keeping the integration Notice if you are squeezing through your upper traps, if you're feeling a lot of tension between your ear and your shoulder, reset. Come back onto your knees, take the weight out of your hands, and reset. And then find your circles, keeping the retraction, keeping the shoulders integrated. And also keeping your breath. And then switch directions. Finding your circles, however fast or slow, really gripping through your hands, you can feel this activation in your shoulders. Slowly shift back into your feet. Walk your hands out long. Come all the way onto your belly. So first we will find traditional cobra pose. Point your toes, bring your hands under your shoulders, squeezing your elbows in towards your sides. You're gonna pull your collarbones apart. So find more retraction. Start to press through your hands, lift up. Elbows squeeze in, and it's that same kind of external rotation we found. Slowly start to lower down. Don't hold a ton of tension in your glutes. Inhale, lift up. You wanna feel this in your back, from the back of your head, and don't go all the way up either, but from the back of your head to the base of your pelvis. And one more time, lift up. And exhale, slowly lower down. Bring your forehead to the mat. You're gonna lift your hands out to a Y type position with your thumbs up to the sky. From here, with your forehead down, we're gonna lift just the arms up. So you should feel this a little bit lower down your back. This is for um, your middle, uh, excuse me, your lower traps, and then just lift your thumbs up to the sky and squeeze. Notice where you want to compensate, and then bring your palms up, and bring your palms down. Bring your palms up, bring your palms down. One more time up, one more time down. Come back to neutral, slowly lower down. Bring your hands up to a T. Just the arms lift up. Squeeze and hold, shoulders down your back. Palms face the floor, and then rotate. So you're gonna rotate your thumbs up, and then back down. Thumbs up, and back down. So you're just rotating however feels naturally here. Trying to keep the squeeze, feel the shake, and then slowly lower your hands down. Bring your hands to your sides. Lifting just the arms, lift up, pull your fingers towards your heels. Start to broaden through your collarbones. So instead of being here, you want to squeeze your collarbones down your back. You can lift your upper body up and then look up and then pull your fingers towards your toes just a little bit more and then look up more. One more breath in, slowly lower it down. Take your right arm underneath like you're threading the needle again, but then this time take your left arm out in front. Palms are up if that feels comfortable. And if you want a little bit more here, you can come up onto your toes and then just shift yourself forward just a little bit. So more body weight is going to be going through your shoulders, which then gives you more of a stretch. You can put your head wherever it feels comfortable. You should feel this on the outside of your shoulders, on maybe both sides, but particularly on the ribs. Stay for one full breath in. 
And then exhale, slowly shift out of it. Keep the left hand where it is. You can reach it just a little bit further. Reset, take the right hand on top. And same thing here, palms are up. You can stay here or you can come onto your toes and shift forward. And the weight is going straight down. You should feel this more so in the left shoulder, but maybe in the right as well. And then just find your breath. So you're trying to relax the muscles of your shoulders, of your shoulder blades. As so you just let this be a little bit more of a passive stretch. One more full breath in. Exhale, slowly shift out of this. And bring your hands. Um, if you know you're stretchy, bring them to cactus arms. If you know you're tight, bring them to out to a T. Your palms are facing the floor, no matter what position you're in. From here, you're going to lift your right leg up. You're gonna kick it across your back and you should feel the stretch throughout your front body into your shoulder, but mostly some chest stuff. So start to squeeze your shoulder blades together as you look up to the sky. Your foot does not have to touch the ground. You can bring it to a block. Um, or you can just leave it hovering, whatever feels good for you. And maybe you only rotate just a little bit and that's fine too. And again, you're just breathing and relaxing and finding this passive stretch. And then slowly come up onto your, back onto your belly and switch sides again. Capital letter T, if you know the side is tight, if not, find cactus. Left leg will reach up and over, and your gaze will go to the left. On your next exhale, slowly release onto your belly. Plant your hands underneath. Find an upward dog or another cobra, whatever you're ready for. And then you're gonna shift your weight onto your knees. Um, this next move is a little bit more for an assessment. So you're going to bring your hands to your side, your palms are out. Just pull your belly up and in and find a comfortable seat. From here, you're gonna keep your palms up and your elbows glued into your side. So squeeze in there and you're just gonna start to open. I call these no monies. Um, not sure why, but these are, that's just what we call them. We usually do them with a resistance band, but I just want you to notice left versus right. So this is shoulder external rotation. So just notice, can you move the left arm way more than you can you move the right? Do you feel more activation in one side or the other? And just squeeze and hold and squeeze and hold. And you should start to feel like in the top back of your shoulder, start to fire up, maybe into your armpit as well. Keep squeezing your elbows into your sides. Keep pulling your hands out. Notice if you want to flare up through your ribs. I want you to keep the whole belly and back nice and tight. Keep trying to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Slowly come back to center. One more time, pull open. So your belly's engaged, your pelvic floor is engaged, your ribs are squeezing together. You should feel this in your shoulders. From here, you're gonna reach both arms up overhead. Big breath in. Take your right hand behind your head. Take your left hand to your tricep and then just squeeze it down. So this is an external rotation stretch. So we activate first and then we let it open. Turn on the muscles and then we find the passive stretch. I'm not so much worried about the ribs here, but definitely keep the belly engaged. That's always your safe bet. And slowly release, switch sides. If it hurts to bring your hands overhead, you are more than welcome um, to just skip this part. And slowly release. Our last passive stretch of this flow is going to be what I call the sleeper stretch. Come to lay on one side. You're going to take your hand, whatever side you're laying on, reach it out in front of you, and you're gonna roll your body towards the front. You're not laying on your belly, but you're keeping your energy rolling towards the front, and then bend at your elbow. Where your watch would be, take your opposite hand, place your hand on your wrist. It's not on your hand, it is on your wrist or your forearm. And then with the weight locking forward, you're gonna slowly start to bring your palm to the floor. This is a stretch, keep your elbow bent. You don't have to push too hard usually to feel this one. We call this the sleeper stretch. 
So again, if you rotate too far away, the stretch will feel much, much less. So keep rocking the weight forward towards your belly as you press your hand down to the floor. And then slowly release, switch sides. So whatever side you're laying on, reach that hand out. You're gonna rock your weight forward, bend through your elbow. And again, where your watch would be, you're pressing on your forearm as you press your palm to the floor. Notice left versus right. Notice dominant hand versus non-dominant hand. They may be completely different. And if this is bothering your neck, you can always bring your head to the floor or just find a little pillow and keep it close to your um, mat or a block will work as well. And then slowly release, come to lie on your belly. Bring your hands up to cactus arms and keep your knees bent. You wanna press your low back flat into the ground and just notice left versus right here. So before you find your final rest, I want you to just check in with your shoulders. Does the left feel different than the right? Does this external rotation of your shoulders feel okay? And then when you're ready, take one more full breath in. Exhale, let everything go long. Palms to your sides for your final rest. I invite you to stay here as long as you would like, as long as you need, checking into your shoulder joints, the shoulder blades, the spine, everything that's connected, the front body, the chest, the heart. Notice what comes up for you. Notice how you feel. And when you're ready, slowly work your way out. Namaste.